Oh, I did want to comment one, th one other thing about the war. Um, the war has done more to reveal the complete insanity of the left on campus and their explicit anti-Semitism than anything before this. And we're not talking about a handful of professors or a handful of students. We're not talking about marches because a black man is killed by police, where, you know, you could talk about police brutality, so there's, there's some rationalization for it. But on American campuses now, there are thousands, tens of thousands more of students and thousands of faculty members who are actively arguing in support of Hamas, who will not condemn Hamas's actions, who will not just equate it with Israel, but make Hamas blameless and blame it all on Israel. It's much worse than even I expected it would be. The numbers are staggering. The amount of media they're getting is scary. The, 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 the number of people out in the streets marching for Hamas is truly unbelievable. The number of Hamas flags we see everywhere is stunning. I mean, these, this is a, a government, an organization, that commanded its people to rape, torture, kill babies, kill little girls, little children, behead some of them, slaughter civilians, as many as possible, take hostages, treat the hostages badly. And yet, on American campuses today, by both students and professors, they're getting a free ride. And we're not talking about, again, a few professors here, a few students' organizations there. We saw the letter from Harvard, 33 student organizations. But it's lots of universities. It's lots of places. They're out in the streets. They have no shame. They're marching. They're demonstrating. They're in class. And professors are telling, in class, they're telling in a classroom, they're saying, if you support Israel, go sit in the corner. Think about what you've done. Israel, not the Hamas. The level of anti-Semitism, the level of hatred towards Jews, I really didn't think I'd see it in my lifetime. I knew it was there. I knew, I always knew it was possible. It's part of why I justify the existence of Israel even today, I never thought I'd see it like this. The vitriol, the anti-Semitic vitriol, it's on my chat right now, you know, this, this Cooper guy is expressing it. Never thought I'd see it. Never thought it would happen in America in my lifetime. And here it is. And it's not just in, not just in America. It's in London. 100,000 people marched in London. Pro-Hamas. It's in every city in Europe, every major city in Europe. And it's not just Muslims. That's bad enough that it would be Muslims. It's Brit British kids, European kids. I mean, in America, it's even some Jews. It's, it's hard to fathom how bad the anti-Semitism is and how vicious it is, how accepted it is. And um, I don't know. It, it, it's hard for me to, the shock and the disappointment and the sadness that this is evoking, it's hard for me to express. You know, anti-Semitism is the hallmark of barbarism. It's the hallmark of tribalism. It's the hallmark of the end of civilization. It's a return to, it's a return to 
pre-enlightenment in the most crudest, in the crudest sense. And, uh, yeah, I mean, look at John Cooper. He's calling him Neil Cohen's, right? He's an anti-Semite. He's a barbarian. He's, he's talking about the IQ of people in Gaza and the IQ of Jews. I mean, he probably has an IQ of my socks. Anti-Semites are usually pretty stupid. And suddenly very immoral. It's not, it's, it's anti-Semitism and altruism. It's, it's the consequence of the tribalism that we've experienced. And it's dominantly on the left, but it's also on the right. You can see the, the, the vitriol against Ben Shapiro from his own followers, not from the left, from his own followers. I mean, I never thought I would feel bad for Ben Shapiro. But he writes sensible things, even pretty moderate things. And he gets crushed, called horrible, ugly names because he's Jewish, because he's pro-Israel. It's truly horrific. And it's very discouraging. And it's going to be interesting to see how we deal with it. I mean, um, there was a uh, NBC, uh, no, sorry, ABC, ABC News had on its show this girl called, this woman called Lindsay Davis. Lindsay Davis will not condemn Hamas. She has no empathy for deliberately murdered Jewish babies, raped little girls, and slaughtered civilians. Even when she's asked explicitly, will show no empathy for that. And she, it's not like she cares about the Palestinian people. She doesn't, just like Hamas doesn't. She is a horrible anti-Semite, a horrible human being, this anti-human life. And yet ABC gives her airtime. She's not too controversial. ABC won't interview me, but that'll interview this barbarian. Now, what makes, her, what makes her newsworthy is that she was denied a job because of her comments on the Israeli-Hamas conflict. Good. Maybe American businesses can discipline these idiots. Idiots is too nice of a word. These immoral people. But a lot of these kids are losing their jobs. That's good. But they're not getting kicked out of the university. They're not being disciplined. Imagine, imagine on a university, you said something racist against a recognized minority in the U.S. Not against, uh, not against, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, not against Jews. That that's acceptable. But if, but, but some you know, blacks, Hispanics, something like that, gays. Imagine you say something racist or anti-gay on campus. You lose your job. Or if you're a student, you get suspended and maybe kicked out of the university. It's happened many times. But now, on American universities, you can actually actively promote Hamas and nothing happens to you. You can actively promote the killing, maiming, butchering of Jews. Paul for the course. Israel's just as bad, so we can't penalize you. Free speech. We're not going to do anything to you. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. The, the, the duality here. And we talked about this as some donors are figuring this out and, and, and stopping to support uh, the alma maters, but not enough. And it's still going on. And the media plays into it because this is the news. So they bring them on television to promote their hatred. It's a disgrace. And I don't, know, I don't know how you recover from this. I mean, all these kids who are pro-Hamas will all go back to class and they'll all graduate and they'll all... But I don't... I, the anti-Semitism is there. 
And I never thought anti-Semitism would be a program of a, of, of, a, of a governing ideology in the future of America. But who knows now? Who knows? It's good, that we, it's good that Israel exists. And it's important, I think, for Jews around the world that Israel continue to exist because it's the one safety valve they have. It's the one place they can escape to. Because even America, God, even America, it's hard to tell what the future holds.